Jimmy, if someone would ask Terry about the moment you both knew that you're going to be in this together and this is going to be like a duo and you're going to do, do this, what specific moment would that be? Going to LA and Jelly Bean's phone call. Post time meeting in Houston, we agreed to go to LA together. Okay, going to LA. And when we were fired by Prince. Okay, so one is... There's one that aligns that you both yeah, have. The going, to, the going to LA part is definitely uh, that yeah. was that was part of it. We were on tour, and Terry said, and that that meeting was, you know, after the meeting that we had, Terry said, "I'm going to LA. Who's coming with me?" Mm -hmm. And everybody said, "No, man, I'm buying a VCR." Everybody had saved their money to buy a VCR. That was like the hot thing back at that day, and I said, "I'll go." Terry said, okay, cool. And we figured it out. I was like, where are we going to stay, Terry? Oh, we'll figure it out. I said, where are we going to get equipment to make demos? Oh, we'll figure it out. But I just trusted Terry at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing that I mentioned was there was a phone call from Jelly Bean where after Prince had fired us, or freed us, as Terry likes to say, then Jelly Bean uh, Johnson, who's a drummer in the time, who's actually probably the one person in Terry's life that's known him longer than me, even, <laughs> called him and said, Prince wants you back. And Terry said, okay, cool. Um, what about Jimmy? And he said, no, he doesn't want him back. And Terry was like, you tell that little... <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, it's okay, T, it's okay, T. T was like, no, 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 no. So that was the thing. It was one of those, it was a divide and conquer moment, I think, where divide us and then, you know, that was our weakness. Yeah. And it strengthened us. Because at that moment, it was like, no, we're, we're in this together from, from this moment forward. And mm. here we still are. Yeah. And, you know, it's a success story. And it's so beautiful to see how, like, it was trust, you said, but also the, the commitment to knowing, like, from, from your side, Terry, is like, no, I want to do this with him and I'm not going to do this without him, you know? So I think that's, uh, that's super beautiful to hear. And we can see that that definitely worked for you guys very well, you know, five Grammys later. Uh, Success should never be defined by, I guess, accolades or, I guess, awards, mm -hmm. but by accomplishing what you set out to do. We set out to just be producers and actually share our talent with the world. That's what we set out to do. We had no idea that any of these other things were going to happen. You know, my my thought of it was always and this is my personal thought, that we have something to offer. And, and what I said when, when I wanted to go to L.A. after I was told in a meeting that I couldn't even get my own room or we couldn't get a raise or any of that kind of stuff, I said, I'm going to L.A. Who's coming? Jam said he would come. He said, what are we going to do? I said, they need us out there. So that was always my intention. And I think intention plays a big part in all of it as well. But success to me in that particular case was having a partner to go with me who believed in the journey. We didn't know where it was going to end up. Right. And we didn't know what our measure of success was other than we just did what we wanted to do. And to me, that's how I measure success. That's the way we feel about we We would always tell artists that as they left the studio at the end of a project. And we'd always, as the project was ending, we would always say to them, we'd always ask how they felt about the project. And the artists would generally always say, man, I love it, it feels great, it feels great. And we would always say, now remember that when it comes out, because you're gonna feel that way if it goes to number one, you're gonna be real happy. But if it comes out and for some reason it doesn't do what your expectations are and what other people's expectations are, don't remember, don't forget the moment of success that you're feeling right now in completing the project, because that is success. I think that's a really good attitude. And thank you also for, for clarifying that, Terry and, and Jimmy, because I think it's a much healthier attitude. And I think we can also hear that in, in music or see that in any art form, really, if it comes from a place of just wanting to create and wanting to share, or if it comes from a place of really just wanting the awards or wanting fame or whatever it is, you know? So uh, very true, success is very subjective and different for everybody.
So I always say stats don't lie, they just don't tell the whole truth. So I think in telling the whole truth, um, it's more than whether a record's number one or platinum or whatever. There's another truth to it is does, are you making music that affects people in a positive way that's making their day better in some way, becoming the soundtrack of their lives? Because by the way, those people don't know if the record went number one. They just know, I love this record. This record speaks to me. Yeah. And that's what makes that important. What do you hope for people to feel? Because music is such an you know, evocative art form. So what do you hope people to feel or take away from listening to your debut album, Jam and Lewis Volume 1? It's really artist appreciation at its finest when you think about the great artists that are on this album. And the artists really are the ones that I think, as we talked about earlier a little bit, they're the ones that really inspire the ideas and inspire the songs. We don't really write the songs in a vacuum. We write them when we know we're going to work with Mary J. Blige or we know we're going to work with Tony Braxton or whoever, Boyce to Men or whoever it is. It's like, oh, we got the song for them. We know what to do for them, you know. Um, so I think really I just want people to feel good about it. And the other thing is, we've found that the artists in a sense it kind of allows them to fall back in love with themselves because it allowed them in the creative process to make an album where there wasn't you know record company pressure so to speak there wasn't the you know well we need the analytics this and the algorithms this and the we had none of those discussions it was just let's just make a record and it was really cool like when babyface heard his finished song for the first time, he don't know nothing about it. He's very hands-on. Babyface is very hands-on with everything. And so he heard it. And when he heard it for the first time, when it was done, because he let us produce it, he just said, you guys finish it. And when we were done with it, he just said, man, that sounds really good. And we said, yeah, thanks. He said, no, that sounds really good. And we said, of course it does. Your baby face. What do you think it's going to sound like? I remember when we sent Mariah her song. After we had finished everything with it. And when she had sent us the idea, it was just a ballad. It was just piano and just nothing, right? And we put this whole track around it. And then she said, oh my God. She said, I love this. She said, I got, I got to re-sing it now with the beat because now there's a beat to it. God, let me sing it with the beat. And two days later, she sent, you know, the files back with her vocals on it. And it was amazing. And so, yeah, I mean, so the way that the artists have reacted to hearing themselves is the way that we hope the fans react in hearing those artists. Yeah. And it's, it should be a celebration of music. It really should be. At the end of the day. I, I think it is. Nostalgia. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So uh, let us continue with the game. The next one is terry do you know jimmy's favorite quote or favorite saying something that he would always uh say better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it yes love that <laughs> very true <laughs> 